like, I, I was rooting for you. <laughs> I was rooting for you, damn it. Hey everyone, I'm Whitney Danhauer. I'm an entertainment reporter for Showbiz Cheat Sheet, and I have Kylan here from F-Boy Island season two. He is here to call me out because I said I didn't think he had a girlfriend. And <laughs> <I'm wrong. laughs> What's good, y'all? What's good? So, okay. You do have a girlfriend, correct? I uh, I did. Oh. <laughs> oh. I so did have a girlfriend. So have things changed since you got off the island and all of that? Yeah, a few things have changed since I left the island. All right. So <laughs> I, I am dying to know how the conversation went when you were with your girlfriend and you were like, hey, babe, by the way, I'm going to go on this reality TV show and I'm probably going to make out with some other girls. Are you cool with this? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's actually a funny story because uh, we uh, we started talking in like 2019 and we started dating like 2020. Okay. So uh, we did it for about a year. We broke up for a little bit, got back together. Um, and then, uh, so, I mean, August 21 rolls around. And uh, at this point, we're not together, but we're, we're friends. Mm -hmm. So uh, I get a little DM about F Boy Island. So I mean, we're hanging out and stuff, and I'm like, uh, you know, let's let's check it out. Let's watch it. Let's see what, what it's about. And uh, so we start watching it, and she's like, Yeah, you know, that's a good show for you. You should go on. You know, I hope I hope you find somebody. Um, all that stuff. So I'm I'm listening. And I'm just like, uh, Okay, okay. Right. So I guess I'm getting the go. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, we didn't film till January. So, I mean, time goes by and we get closer and closer. So, I mean, by December, like, we're, uh, you know, we're basically together. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, you know, I mean, I still got this show. I, you know, I don't want to really have to like make you my girlfriend, even though I, I want to. Yeah. And, she, and she's just like, you know, we're basically together. And I'm just like, yeah, you're right. You're cool with me going on. And she's like, you know, I, I still want you to go chase your dreams, do whatever you want to do. So I'm like, all right, well, I, I, I hope you're cool with this because I'm, I'm going to go. So, I mean, I wasn't for sure that I was going yet. It wasn't until like a week before the show actually was starting that yeah. I finally got the text like, hey, we, we, we picking you. So, yeah, I mean, I, we, we were cool. She took me to the airport with my mom. Uh, you know, when I landed in Cabo, I was talking to her. I was calling her up until I got my phone taken away. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, up until the show, I mean, everything was was good. Yeah. And so, did she see? Did she start watching some of the episodes and was like, "I can't do this"? Or no, I mean, we uh, we broke up in like so the show aired in July. I think it was like beginning of May. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I was back for like two months, and it was it was wraps. Yeah. Yeah. I, and to be honest, I could not have done it. If I was dating you, I would be like, you absolutely cannot go and make out with other people. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't blame her. I couldn't blame her. Well, and what's wild is that there were two guys who had girlfriends on the show. You know, there was you and yeah. D, which is yeah. insane to me. Cause I'm like, where are you? I need to have a talk with these women. I need to be like, listen, lady. <laughs> Well, which is crazy because Mikey and his girl, they broke up before he actually left. Yeah. Yeah. I so heard I was like, story. shoot, I guess I'm, I guess I'm the only one here with a girl. <laughs> well, at least you were open and honest with her and you were like, listen, this is what I'm doing. And you weren't trying to hide it. I don't know how you could have. Yeah. Yeah. She knew all about it. And I was like, you know, there, there's going to be some kissing. I'm trying to win this hundred K. Yeah. But you know, I mean, she was she was so supportive about it. It was, it was crazy. But I think, you know, deep down it was like, you know, I, I don't, I don't want you to go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really blame her. So your incident with Austin who, and I know oh, obviously this stuff is so edited. So I can only go by what I see. And I'm not saying that Austin is a bad guy in real life. He might be totally nice, but even right. though he was, coming up he was trying to come across like as louise's savior by telling her this he just kind of seemed like a wreck <laughs> by doing it he just seemed like he showed up with a giant spoon and was like i'm gonna mess up everybody's chances because i want to win right so did you not say or did he completely make that up about you saying louise was a 25 cent kissing food i mean i i definitely uh said that i mean what happened was so 
<laughs> and I'm like watching it back. I'm like, Kai, like, why would, why would you say that? Yeah. But what had happened was we had just got back from our date, mm -hmm. you know, in the hot tub scene and all that. And uh, so I'm sitting with the guys. I'm talking about it. And they're asking me, you like, did you kiss her? Did you kiss her? I'm like, yeah, I don't kiss and tell. I don't kiss and tell. So I, I look to my right. And she's over there making out with Benedict. And I'm just like, yo, we we just got back. Yeah. Like we just got back from yeah. our day. So that's where that's where the 25 cent thing came. And then uh you have the fire pit scene where we're all talking. Mm. So they kind of edit in that kissing booth thing that I said. Yeah. Which was actually in a different conversation. So it wasn't around the fire pit. That's why you okay. don't see me say it. But yeah, we're sitting around the fire pit and Nico's like, bro, tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened and i was like Yo, i can't i can't tell you so like eventually obviously i break and i'm like okay y'all so this is what happened you know we kissed mm -hmm. about a few times she got on top of me so uh yeah that's kind of how it went down i was being hounded and finally they got it out of me but yeah the kissing wow. booth thing was a different conversation that was edited in gotcha and uh so it's like the next night and uh i'm like you know austin you, you gotta go talk to somebody bro like we're like we're in a circle and i'm talking to austin like you haven't done anything anything yet you're gonna get kicked out you gotta go talk to someone so uh <laughs> so i see him pull the weeds and i'm like i'm looking at everybody i'm like hey good for him do your thing homie do your yeah. thing and then like it was like a two minute conversation and i was like and then Luis just kind of marching over to me and i'm just like uh-oh oh no She's like kylan can we talk and i'm like this is this isn't good so then she tells me that austin had told me this and i'm just like bro like, I, I was rooting for you <laughs> i was rooting for you damn it <laughs> like i wanted you to win bro like i wanted you to get in there even, even though i was talking to Luis, i'm like you know it's fair competition man yeah so with that being said, and you did have a girlfriend, were you planning on taking the 100K or would you have split it? Yeah, I mean, I was I was so blocked off emotionally because I had heard like I wasn't I wasn't going to catch any feelings or nothing. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I was going to take the 100K and, and walk. Yeah. That was my plan to do like the whole time. Have you seen the finale yet? Have you watched it? No. OK, so do you know do you know how it ends? Or no. you, so, you know, about Tamaris? Yeah, you guys kind of called it because I watched the. I think I watched the four through six one that you guys posted. Yeah. One of you, one of you had said, "I feel like Tamaris is the F girl." Rachel yeah. freaked out, and I had an idea because did you watch season one at all? Uh, yeah. So in season one, I was absolutely convinced that CJ was going to be an F girl, and that was going to be the twist. I kept waiting for that to happen, and when it didn't happen. I was still, I was still like on guard for this season, waiting for that to be the twist. So I kind of knew, but I really wasn't sure. But Rachel called it. She was like, when she said, yeah. she what got her up in the morning was money. And I was, I was surprised when I found out. Yeah, I talked to um, Nico yesterday, and I and Rachel talked to Casey, and they were talking about how they were just completely floored by <laughs> that decision. I was also expecting. I don't know. Do you know Louise's final two? Yeah. Okay. Do you know who she picked? Uh -huh. Okay. So I was totally, ex I thought I knew she was going to pick Mercedes, but I 100% uh -huh. thought he was going to take the money. I did not see him splitting it with her. Hey, me He's too. But I know, I know why he split it. Oh, really? Please tell. Yeah. I mean, you, you, we, we know how much hate Garrett got for well, taking uh, the 100K. Okay. But it also, it got him so much exposure. Like, that's all anyone yeah, was talking about. So... Yeah. I'm kind of wondering like why, and maybe you guys aren't allowed to, but I was kind of wondering why someone just didn't pull somebody to the side, like your girl that you liked and was like, listen, I'm going to say that I'm going to take it and then I'll split it with you after the show's over and we'll get all the exposure. Uh -huh. But then I was like, why <laughs> do that? Why well, that? I know, I know they have a lot of conversations uh, behind the scenes before mm -hmm. the, um, the finale and stuff. Like they pulled the final six and talked to them. So that could have been a conversation. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't asked. Asked, I haven't asked Mercedes that if that was a conversation, yeah. but it easily, it easily could have been. Right. Yeah. I was just wondering because I mean, it just seems like a win win for both because you're getting all the exposure. Yeah. Yeah. Exposure. And Mercedes is definitely, definitely an F boy. So, yeah. <laughs> he comes across as so mean. He comes across as so <laughs> mean. And, and the guys were like, no, he's really not. Like he was just there to play the game. Like he was taking notes and he knew. But Nico also said that 
the only person he felt like had a chance at Louise besides Mercedes was you. He was like, I thought. Yeah, we got we got robbed out of a good rivalry between me and Mercedes that could have lasted because I got out of pretty, like episode four, I was gone. Yeah. But I feel like me and him going head to head, like that would have that would have been good because I, I was coming up about episode three, episode four, I was mm. coming up and then, you know, I fell off real fast. But yeah, I know I know he was a little worried for sure. And after our fight, we, we didn't talk. Oh, me and him. Really? Yeah, we did not talk. Like we walked by each other, not, not a word. Oh. We real life hated each other. Oh yeah, are you cool now? Yeah, I mean, when we squash it now, and like yeah. we're cool. But in yeah. the house, like we, we did not say a word. So what about Austin? Did he, were you like legitimately like, I don't like you because he just stirred up problems or was it just like, what are you doing? Yeah, I was like, bro, like, why would you, why would you do that? So I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't messing with him either. Yeah. You know, he had got, he got into Limbro, which they didn't, they didn't show this, but when he walked into Limbro, I was like, F this guy. I mean, he came yeah. up to dap me up. So I stuck my hand out and then he went to go and I took it back real fast. So everybody was dying. I wish they showed it, but they didn't. So what was Limbro like? With Was it kind of fun? I know you guys didn't really sleep there or anything, but was it kind of fun just like goofing around with Nikki Glazer? When we got kicked off the show, that, that was when the real fun started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's funny because did you listen to Nikki on... Um, yeah i did i did and she was talking about how she always had to like she would see like garrett walking down the road like yeah. trying to sneak off and go somewhere so yeah did they keep a tight grip on you guys like where you were allowed to go and what you were doing you know i mean they they tried <laughs> they tried i mean we're in, we're in like like she said we're in a hotel like we're right by cabo and all the party spots, yeah. it would be hard to keep a bunch of men that have been stuck in a house, yeah. you know, contained in a hotel, so. What was your favorite part? Like, was the mansplain kind of fun because you just got to call everybody out or were you just kind of over it at that point? I mean, yeah, the mansplain was cool, but like, we we were cooking out there. Like, we got to wear our same outfit that we got eliminated in. So I'm in these black jeans, like my, these black shoes, I got my uh, button up wrapped around my neck. I mean, I was hot. So I was like, this is cool and all, but like, I'm ready to wrap up. Because my yeah. flight was the next day. So I'm like, yo, I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah. And it cracks me up because every season I'm like, what is the temperature where you're at? Because there are people in sweaters. There's people in shorts. There's girls in like sleeveless dresses. I, right. I, what are you guys, what is the temperature where FBoy Island is? <laughs> Yeah, and Cabo was weird because during the day it was hot. But at nighttime, like you'll see Peter wearing turtlenecks and beanies. Like yeah. some nights ooh, it was freezing out there. Really? That's funny. So who were you closest with in the house? Well, uh, my roommates were Brayden, Dwayne, Brandt, and Elon. The first night we all started talking and like we became real close friends. So like I trusted them with everything. Like they knew, they knew I had a girl. Yeah. Um, so like we talked all the time in the room. So they were my closest. Um, other than them, Carlos was pretty cool. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember. He, he got voted off early. It's hard to. Remember. Yeah, he was just so chill. <laughs> yeah, and I binged them all in one. Like you know, I think I did it in like one Sunday. It was like a rainy Sunday, and I just sat down and watched them all for work. But <laughs> so I'm like, I can't remember what episode everybody gets eliminated in. I just right. Like, like it was early on or if you had like something happen, yeah. you know, like with the kissing booth or whatever. Yeah. So what was a typical day like when you, before you'd been voted off to go to Limbro, did you have specific times other than your dates to go with Louise and pull her to the side or were you just kind of with the guys? Yeah, during the day they would wake us up like 9 a.m. Like you get, get mic'd up, we're gonna start filming. So we would do a, like a bunch of scenes. Like it's crazy how many scenes don't make the show. No. Like, it's it's wild. So uh, we would do some scenes. We wait for the girls to come. So they would probably come around one or two, mm -hmm. and they would they pick their dates. So if you go on a date, then like obviously you're with them the whole time. But if you don't, like you're really just chilling at the house. So mm -hmm. we were all kicking it. We would go to the game room, play some games. Uh, we take naps. We'd be outside, so we were kind of free to do whatever. We we would shoot some scenes, but we kind of be, be chilling. And then uh, we get ready for the guys to come back, ask mm -hmm. them about their dates. And then after that, the girls would come behind them, and then we'd have like the mixer and stuff. And that was our chance to talk if we haven't been on a date to talk to the girls. Yeah. Um, so that was basically our typical day, except for elimination nights. Like that day was all free. We wouldn't really do anything. We'd shoot some scenes. 
Mm -hmm. talk about elimination but our day was mostly free on elimination kind of like just a two-month vacation almost <laughs> like it, yeah it, it really was yeah it really was so do you think you'd do it again if they asked you back <sighs> yeah i mean i, I think i will i know i know f girl island's about to be in the works i mean it's gotta it be it has to be it's gotta be so uh you know i, I would see what they're gonna do if they're gonna do f girl I, f boy whatever and uh i would definitely uh consider it <laughs> do, you, do you think you have a good f girl detector you know girls are hard to tell <laughs> I, I was thinking about that i'm like I, i'd have a hard time telling girls which one are the gold diggers which one are because yeah. i feel like guys kind of wear on their sleeve like you can kind of tell what guys are going to be f boys and nice guys yeah but like i've never looked at a girl and been like yo i think she'll i think she'll play me so <laughs> <laughs> so that would be hard I am terrible at it like I'm all, I've watched it for two seasons and I never get it right I'm always like I sure <laughs> thought that Peter was going to be a nice guy I was like he's definitely because I thought he was a nice guy the first season so I was like he'll uh -huh. be nice. and then yeah. I definitely thought Casey was going to be an F boy again and he wasn't I just get everybody wrong basically I have <laughs> low detection skills when it comes to stuff like that I've been out of the game for way too long to you, even you got, I think you, got, you got me right though I think you got me right yeah, I think I, I got you. You were right. And then Mercedes was pretty obvious. Yeah, um, yeah. And some guys say what they are, too. Like, um, I think Mikey D said he was an F-boy, like, in one of his, like, confessionals. So it wasn't. Yeah, I think you, you could kind of tell with Mikey D, too. I mean, he yeah. was. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he made me laugh a lot, but it was like, when he said. Yeah, he, he's funny. Michael, were you shocked when. What was the first guy that walked off? John, is that his name? Yeah, John, yeah. Yeah, were you shocked that he did that? It just seemed to kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of, he was quiet the whole day before elimination. Like, he didn't, he didn't talk. And he, we talked the night before. And he had told me, like, when I'm sober, like, I'm really quiet. I'm shy. Yeah. But when I, when I drink, you know, I go a little crazy. So that night I was like, oh, shoot. Like, he wasn't lying because he, he's going a little crazy. Oh, when he was, like, jumping in the pool and... Jumping in the pool, yelling at Mia, like, trying to grab her for conversations, interrupting people's conversations. Yeah. So he definitely had too much to drink. But, I mean, the next night, like, we don't drink before elimination. So I think... Right. He might, he might have been a little nervous and stuff. So he was just yeah. like, you know, forget this. I mean, he's in a little baby video. He's like, he does some big stuff. So I think he was like, I don't really need this yeah he didn't really need it that's what he said when he left that he didn't really need the exposure or anything Did yeah he said I was, I was lit on instagram I was dying. <laughs> when you got eliminated were you you were escorted out immediately right you go to the van and then they take you to a hotel was anyone shocked to see well you? we go to limbro first oh okay yeah we do like a scene at limbro first and then yeah, we go to the hotel when you were approached by producers did you specifically say i'm yes i'm an f-boy i'm gonna go on as an f-boy or were they kind of like we see you more in this box versus the nice guy box yeah from the get-go i was like yeah i'm an f-boy like i have a girlfriend i actually did my interviews at my girlfriend's house so i mean like they were dying at that which I, well at that time it was my ex's house but i was like yeah. we're probably gonna get back together so they, they were loving that they were just yeah. eating that up and uh yeah, it was it was a long interview process. Like I probably did like seven or eight interviews, yeah. and they want they just wanted stories. They went, what, "What what have you done? What have you been through? Like what has happened? Yeah. What made you an F boy? Family life? You know all that stuff." I guess they just like troll your guys like social media and just like see who they think is a good fit for it. Yeah, I think when you look at mine, you're like, "All right, he's probably a, a clear." clear F -boy. Oh, <laughs> like i looked at his instagram and it was gross <laughs> yeah i saw that i was like oh man well i mean when uh me and my girl when we were together like i mean we've had we've been up and down but i was like you know I, obviously i want to go on a reality show because i mean yeah. i did i interviewed for love island one time we were together okay. and i was just like i didn't take the chance i was like i kind of feel like she's more valuable than this opportunity mm -hmm. so I, I stuck with her and then when we broke up i was like all right i can't i can't do that again yeah. So I, I've kind of kept my Instagram clear. So there, because like Love Island, you can't have a, you can't have a girlfriend. And there's certain yeah. shows you can't have one, but F Boy Island was one where you can. Yeah. So I was like, you know, that, that's pretty cool. But I've, I've kept it clear for, for those reasons. So yeah, it's, it'd be hard to, hard to find her if you do, uh, 
if you do look at my Instagram. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see, I think that's why Rachel was like, he doesn't have a girlfriend. And then I started looking and I was like, you're right, you probably lied. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it was, it was funny. And we always do that stuff just to like, we're just being silly on those videos, like trying, we don't know you guys. Anymore. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we see. So that is all I have for questions. Thank you so much for coming on and talking to me. And I can't wait to let everyone know that you have a girlfriend. (laughs) I was the one that was wrong. Um, Do you have anywhere that you want people to follow you on social media? Do you have any like projects in the works that you want to tell people about? I mean, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter at KingKai5, uh, the two Y's. Okay. Yeah, I mean, stay tuned. I have some more stuff coming soon. All right, I'll watch you. I would watch you on another reality show. So. Yeah, yeah, that could yeah. be in the works. So, I hope you get it. <laughs>